Well, happy Tuesday. It's time for this week's video. Get ready. Hey, today is probably going to be a short video. Uh, I just want to read something that's very short that Jesus said. And then I want to focus on it. So I'm going to read John chapter 17, verses 1 and 2. Um, one is, verse 1 is mainly important to give you the setting, and, but verse 2 is what we're going to focus on. So, uh, John chapter 17, verse 1. These words spake Jesus, and lifted up his eyes to heaven, and said, Father, the hour is come. Glorify thy Son, that thy Son also may glorify thee. As thou hast given him, meaning him, the Son himself, as thou hast given him power over all flesh, that he should give eternal life to as many as thou hast given him. Stop. Repeat. As thou hast given him power over all flesh, that he should give eternal life to as many as thou hast given him. Jesus is saying here that the Father gave him power over all flesh. In other words, he gave him power over all people. That he should give eternal life to as many as the Father gave him. And how many is it that the Father gave him? All. So, therefore, he will give eternal life to as many as God gave him. All. And when did he do it? Of course, through the work of the cross. His death, burial, and resurrection. That's when it happened. When we had been given our Christian doctrines, a sentence like this would never compute. The doctrine has a way of blocking you from something he says, so that it only seems to support your doctrine. So, in this case, verse 2, we're, we're listening and we're reading and we're comprehending the last half of the sentence that he should give eternal life to as many as God has given him, but we're completely ignoring and forgetting almost instantaneously the first half of the sentence, which is he gave him all. This is why once you have broken free from your traditional Christian doctrines, you should really scrutinize everything that you think you know a verse says, or verses say, or a chapter says, or a book says. It's very important. Um, this New Testament especially requires a lot of scrutinization because a lot of the authors don't agree with Paul. Um, we know certain things have been tampered with, including in Paul's letters and, and the others. So, scrutinize. Scrutinize, scrutinize. It's revolutionary, I know. Have a revolutionary week.